Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine by the grace of Allah Almighty. Today we are going to start our lesson number two. But before starting lesson number two, you will have to take out your textbook and put that in front of you so it will help you to understand the explanation more clearly on page number eight you have your lesson number two and the title of lesson number two is microcomputers you all know that what is a computer? We have discussed the computer in the lesson number one in detail. Now we are going to study about the microcomputers. Now what are microcomputers? Microcomputers are the computers which works with the microprocessors. Microcomputers are also known as the personal computers. Personal computers like those computers which we use at our homes, colleges, schools and businesses. These computers are used at the personal level. The microprocessor in these computers works as the central processing unit. Microcomputers wo computers hote hain jinhe hum personal level par use karte hain jaise ki ghar, college, school or chote businesses mein. Microcomputers zyada expensive nahi hote or unhe personally use kiya ja sakta hai. Microcomputers microprocessor ki madad se kaam karta hai. A microcomputer consists of several components and those components contains mechanical and electronic equipments. The three basic components of microcomputer are input unit, central processing unit which is known as CPU and output unit. Now we will discuss about the basic computer components in detail. The first basic component of computer is input unit. Input unit is like eyes and ears of the computer. The function of unit is the function of input unit is to feed data, information and instructions to the computer. Input unit computer ka ek important component hai. Input unit ki madad se computer mein data, information or instructions ko add kiya ja sakta hai. The most common input devices are keyboard and mouse. You all are aware of these two input devices. The next component of microcomputers is central processing unit which is CPU. As you all know that the CPU is like the brain of the computer. 
it controls the units of computer and it also supervises the computer. CPU consists of three parts which are arithmetic logic unit ALU, control unit CU and memory unit. CPU computer ke brain ki tarha kaam karta hai jo ke aap sab ne bachpan mein padha hooga. CPU aapke brain ki tarha computer ko control karta hai. The other function of CPU is to collect the information from input unit and from the memory and it uses that information according to the instructions. It means ki input unit or memory se jo bhi information computer ko chahiye ho wo wahan se collect karke diye gaye instructions par kaam karta hai. Now moving towards the different parts of CPU. The first part of CPU is Arithmetic Logic Unit ALU The meaning of Arithmetic Logic Unit is hidden in its name. Arithmetic Arithmetic means that ALU can perform different operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. It can also perform logical operations like the comparison of numbers that we do in mathematics like greater than, less than or equals to. This is the function of arithmetic logic unit. And this is the first part of CPU. The ALU can perform millions of calculations at a very, very high speed. The next part of CPU after ALU is control unit. The control unit controls the data flow inside the computer. In simple words, it works like a traffic policeman. It controls the different activities of a complete computer system. On the other hand, it does not execute the instructions itself. It means ki control unit could kisi bhi instruction pe kaam nahi karta. But wo computer ke different parts ko instruct karta hai ke unhe kya function karna hai. In simple words, a heart controls the flow of blood in your body same as that the control unit controls the flow of data inside the computer the next part of cpu is memory unit the memory unit stores amount of data to use it again and again whenever it is required. It means that the memory unit stores a lot of information so that information can be used whenever required. The main memory 
is also called as primary storage, internal storage or simple memory. The memory of a computer has two basic parts. Number one, read only memory, ROM. Number two, random access memory, RAM. What is ROM? This part of CPU or memory contains the permanent information. If your computer is power off, the information which is stored in ROM cannot be washed away. It means कि वो information जो के ROM में store होती है, वो computer off होने के बावजूद भी उसमें बरकरार रहती है. This information is available to a computer to read and process, but not to change. The memory in ROM is stored in different pieces of memory chips. As you all know that today's computers work on the memory chips. The next is random access memory. Now, what is a RAM? A RAM is also the part of memory unit. RAM also stores the information during its processing. But the information which is stored in RAM can be lost if your computer is shut down. It means कि वो information जो RAM में store होती है वो computer shut down होने पर lost हो सकती है It means कि वो information computer में stored नहीं रहेगी The next topic is units of memory the memory of computer is measured in the terms of bytes like KB, MB and GB. You all are familiar with these terms. Kilobytes, KB, Megabyte, MB and gigabyte which is GB. A computer memory consists of the two switches which are on and off. The on is represented by a 1 and off is represented by 0. 0 and 1 are the binary digits. A collection of 8 bits is defined as a byte. As you all know that a computer memory is measured in bytes like KB, MB and GB. The next and the last topic of lesson number two is output unit. Output unit provides communication between a computer and the outer world. The different output devices are used to display and print the final result of a computer. For example, 
Printer is an output device which prints the result of the computer monitor which shows you the result of the computer and these devices are depend on the type and purpose of output it means ke output devices wo devices hote hain jisme computer apne results ya phir output show karta hai for example jab aap computer pe koi cheez type karte hain aur आप उसे पेपर पे प्रिंट करना चाहते हैं तो आप प्रिंटर यूज़ करते हैं उसी तरह बहुत सारे आउटपुट डिवाइसेस हैं जो के कंप्यूटर के रिजल्ट्स या आउटपुट को प्रिंट या फिर किसी भी फॉर्म में हमें शो करते हैं एंड दिस डिपेंड्स ऑन द टाइप ऑफ आउटपुट डिवाइस that you are using like speakers printers magnetic tape plotters etc now here the explanation of the chapter ends i hope that you all understood the chapter thank you allah hafiz